This is part nine of my rich husband bought the side checker house. If you've been watching, then you know where we left off. At this moment, I'm standing at the door staring at this woman who won't tell me who invited her to the party. So I turn around and call my cousin, Destiny. I say, yo, Destiny, come here. Destiny came to the door. I said, do you know her? Did you invite her by chance? Destiny does not know her. I said, well, can you get Richard? She calls Richard. Richard comes to the door. Richard doesn't know her either. So I turn around and scream. I say, yo, did anybody invite this lady to this party? And then everybody looked over. When people started coming to the door, my husband, who was cleaning the wine off the carpet, got up. He came. When he seen the lady, he started to make his way past everybody. And he was like, excuse me, yo, let me get out. Let me get out. He gets out and he grabbed the lady and started to walk away with with her and then I grabbed him by his pants the back of his pants I was like hold up where the hell you think you're going who is she uh, obviously you know her but who is she you're not going anywhere with her he was like yo let me go I would we can talk about it later I said no we're not talking about it later and I'm like how come you know her he said yeah I know her but can I tell you later I said who is she and he slipped away from my hand and I started following them destiny my cousin is trying to grab me oh his his brother Richard is trying to grab me I said no 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 if he knows this woman he must be messing with her and I'm pulling away from my cousin i'm like let me go let me go i've been having the feeling that he been messing with somebody and all of a sudden the lady shows up at the door i'm like yo y'all let me go and i snatched my arm i snatched myself away from destiny and my brother-in-law i rushed them and then this lady gonna try to throw some hands while ben is over there grabbing her so i reached in my purse and grabbed my pepper spray and got her all in her face I started coughing. My husband is coughing and he was, he started screaming. Why would you do that? I told you I'm gonna tell you later. I was like, nah, tell me right now if you don't want somebody to go to jail. And he goes, she's my ex. I'm like, she can't be your ex if she's showing up at a party. If she's showing up, that means you're still messing with her. So she's screaming. He helps her to get back in her car. She can't drive. Then she gonna call 911. The police came. When the police came, she told her side of the story over there by the window. And the police came to get my side of the story. And I told the police exactly what happened. I said, she showed up uninvited to a New Year's party that me and my cousin and my brother-in-law threw at the Airbnb. And tried to make her way in the house. That's when I pepper sprayed her. And then my husband, apparently my husband knew her. So he dragged her to the car and put her in the car. <laughs> That wasn't the true story, but guess what? The witnesses backed me up. My cousin and his brother backed me up because obviously this cannot be his ex if she's going to show up to a party that somebody must have told her about and that only person the only person that knew her is him so when i told my side of the story the police went around asking and everybody corroborated my story and the police told her well if nobody invited you here why are you here and then she gonna tell the police that my husband invited her so the police asked my husband did you invite her here he said, no, sir, I didn't. Oh, my God. That pissed her off. So the police said, ma'am, since you are caught trespassing, we're going to have to take you in and impound your car. <laughs> They went ahead and put handcuffs on her, threw her in, in the back of the cruiser, and her car got picked up. So after the police took Little Miss Side Dish to the station, my husband wanted to go home, but he was having problem leaving because he did get some of that pepper spray in his eyes. So he went to his brother Richard and asked Richard to use his car to take him home. Rachel got in my husband's car and drove him home. Later on, I found out that when they got home, my husband cleaned up really good and Rachel drove him to the police station. He bailed Little Miss Trespass inside dish out and then took her to where her car got impounded and he paid to get the car out and then she got in her car and went home this is what i found out later so i told him i said hmm so you actually bill her out 
He was like, what did you expect me to do? You didn't have to do all that. It's because of you. She ended up in jail and her car was impounded. So it was only right that I get her out of jail and get her her car back so she can go. I did tell the police in front of you that I didn't invite her. I said, but you said she's your ex though. And you know, I know all of your ex. So you need to tell me what's going on. He was like, look, man. I'm sorry that she showed up. I'm like, you sorry? So you think by telling me sorry, all of this is just going to go away. I said, by the way, I plan on filing charges against her. I'm going to make sure she do some jail time and some community service. He was like, come on, man. It's said and done. Let it go. I said, no, I'm not. I'm going to file charges against her. Uh, my cousin going to be my witness. And it's good that you stood by me. Since we are married, when we go to court, you still going to stand by me. He was like, yo, let it go, please. I was like. The only way I'm going to let it go is if we go back to the lawyer, you extend and renew my general power of attorney for another 10 years. He was like, all right, I'll do that. I was like, okay, but you got to do it this week. You got to do it this week because y'all, I don't want the power of attorney to expire, okay? Because this whole drama is not over yet. And everything that I need to do so that the side chick lose, I need the general power of attorney to get it done. And now nothing is going to stop him from renewing it because if he doesn't, <laughs> little Miss Side Dish is about to get some records on her rap sheet. And I'm sure he doesn't want that. You know, stay tuned for part 10.